Hey, it's John at Tinderbox Arts. So this video, I'm gonna be working on my R1200 RT. It's a 2012 model. And I have the factory low seat. Uh, you can tell that because it's not a two-piece seat. It's single piece, and it's got this kind of goofy looking uh, scoop to it. It's just not very comfortable. Now, there's not a lot of padding on it because it's a low seat, but I wanna see if I can improve it. Now, I just completed this seat. This is on my uh, Bonneville, a Triumph, and I had some pretty good success with it, so I have some experience under my belt. What I wanna do with this one is add a softer foam, that's the main thing, and then I wanna see if I can adjust the pocket so it's a little bit more forward, maybe scoop out a little bit of area right here, and I wanna to try to, some of this extra foam here is not helpful to me, and in the back here, I'm gonna reuse my old cover, but the old cover has a lot of just airspace under there, it doesn't actually, I don't know why, but. So I can fill that with foam because I don't use it. All right, the foam I got for this project is from a company called Dynamic Systems. I'll put a link in the comments for you. I got a whole bunch of different samples because I wasn't sure what I needed. And I've already used some of this on that other seat. What was nice is the company has some charts which help you pick uh, the correct density of foam. To, and it depends on your body weight, uh, the thickness of the foam, and, and some other factors. So. Uh, these charts are really helpful and I will put a link to the charts in the comments as well. Now this uh, piece of foam here has a cutout because I used some of it yesterday, but um, you know, it's kind of a memory foam. It comes back, but it's really nice and soft, but it's got enough density so when your full body weight is on it, um, it's not going to crush on you. Now I've got a whole bunch of different sizes here and I still won't even use all of it, but look at those charts to determine what is the best density for your use. Now as far as tools and other things that you'll need, uh, other materials you'll need, you'll need a spray adhesive. I use this one. Again, I'll put a link in. Uh, you may need some plastic to cover the foam after you've worked on it, uh, which uh, this stuff is actually a carpet protector product meant for remodeling, uh, but it's worked well for me. Now as far as tools, you're gonna need something to cut the foam with. I use this carving knife. Um, I'll put a link in again for this, and it worked really well, actually. Um, you'll need something to kind of fine-tune the foam as you're working. Uh, I have this rasp that I bought, which is inexpensive. It does work, and a grinding wheel seems to work better on that. So I used a grinding uh, wheel with a, you know, a sand disc here, a sanding disc. And then you'll need some kind of stapler. Now I bought a um, pneumatic stapler. You do not need that, but I run a construction company and I'll have use for this elsewhere. So I did go ahead and buy this. But if you want, you can just use an old fashioned stapler like this. All right, with the seat out, uh, it's time to take these staples out. But before I do, I'm gonna take a silver Sharpie and I'm just gonna make some marks um, on the cover and on the seat pan itself. That way, and I'm gonna make four marks, so that way I can realign this more easily. Now to get these staples out, I'm just gonna use a flat screwdriver and needle nose pliers. Uh, it just takes a little while. And one thing I wanna do before I get too far though, once I get one of these out, is to measure the staple and make sure the new ones going in are about the same size. Now the other ones that I used in the previous seat were quarter inch and these look about the same, I'll measure them. And remember of course these are stainless steel staples so when you replace them, make sure you get the right type. All right, I have all the staples out on the edges except for the rear. For the moment I'm just gonna leave those there and I'm gonna peel back the cover and just see what I'm dealing with. I may not need to remove this at all and I can just leave it in place but if it turns out to be a problem I can always take it off later. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. I got it all unstapled. And peel this back, and I'm going to save this cover, so we've got to be careful. I half expected to find it glued, but it's really not. Uh, in fact, another thing that surprises me um, is that there's no plastic covering this foam at all. On the other seat that I did, there was some plastic. Now, this is stuck to the pan itself, so there's not much foam there. I'm, I'm looking underneath here as I'm feeling. Yeah, so there's not a lot to play with here. I gotta be careful. So my hope is to kind of scoop away some of this area, add to this area, and add to the back. This is what the back of the cover looks like. It's pretty thin. Uh, actually, there's not much to this. I'm not terribly impressed with the construction, actually. And if you go to the front of the pan here, you can see the foam is kind of wrapped around and, and attached to 
the pan. So I'm not going to try to take that off. I'm just going to leave it in place. After sitting on the bike with this and marking it up with my pen, uh, it's going to be a little tricky. Uh, this back area right here is where my rear end is. This whole area right here, um, where the cover didn't fit well anyway, I can fill in. I don't need this. And then in the front here, this is where my legs, when I'm standing, you know, at a stop, where my legs go. And so this whole area right here, there's not much really I can do about it. I can carve out maybe a little bit, but not a whole lot. But this section right here in the front, um, I can kind of carve out a little bit, a little bit of that and not have it anymore because I don't need it. All right, I've done some rough cuts with the knife and I'm just seeing how, how much deeper I can go here before I hit the pan. Uh, I can go a little bit deeper here, but at this point, rather than risk it, I'm just gonna use my rasp and this will just take some of the rough stuff off. It works pretty quickly. And I'm just gonna smooth out this area Uh, and get down to something that's you know pretty uniform as I can get. Okay, with the rasp, I've got most of this stuff out that I need. That's the general shape I need. Now I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit. I'm gonna use a grinder, very light touch with this. I mean, you have to use two hands and sort of keep it off of the foam, just a very light touch. All right, I got the pocket cleaned out here pretty good. There's a little tear out here and there, not a big deal. No one will ever know the difference. So the new material, um, I had some two inch uh, foam of the right density that I like, but I used most of that up on the last seat. So I'm gonna use this one inch foam. Uh, it's the same density, it's, called, it's soft, and it's not a problem. You can build this up using the adhesive. So I'm gonna do one cut that I'll fill this pocket, and then I'll do a second cu cut that will be on top of the first one and actually probably come up here a little bit. So you can add layers and then we're gonna mold and shape those layers and if you cut through to the, to the layer below, it's not a problem, no harm done.
right, that's the first layer. I've done a rough job of carving out the pocket. Now I need a second layer. I don't need it over here, and I don't really need it here either. Mostly I need it just right here in this section. So I'll put a smaller piece here, then I can blend the two together using the grinding wheel. Okay, I've put it on the bike and sat on it, and oh my god, it's already so much better. So this may seem counterintuitive, but you see there's sort of a hump in the middle here. Uh, but when you sit on it, this is a pretty soft foam, so it collapses easily. And that just makes a nice, just a beautiful pocket to sit in. Uh, and it's in the right place for me, and now I have a little bit of back support, which I didn't have before. Uh, so this is really working out well. Now, I think I will... Um, put a third layer on over all of this. Now it's just half inch thick it's, and it's extra soft. Before I do that though, I'm going to kind of carve out this area right here where my legs are and kind of integrate these two areas right here. Rather than the plastic that I was originally going to use, I ended up using a much thinner plastic. I really don't, I'm not worried about water intrusion so much. Uh, I just want to make sure there's kind of a barrier there so that if the seat cover is rubbing against the foam, since I do have multiple layers, it'll rub against the plastic and, and not kind of curl up the edges here. So it just provides an extra layer of protection, I think. I need to do something about this. It's seam tape. I'm not sure if it was there just to protect the seams from catching on things or whether it was there for waterproofing, but either way, it's no longer doing its thing and it had already come off. So I'm just going to take it off and I guess I'll look at what I have to replace that. Now I'm making my marks line up again before I staple and I'm going to line up, you know, all four edges first and then start stapling along the edge. I expect I'm going to have to pull and tug a little bit just to get it to fit right because it is a little bit different now. All right, with the seat back on the bike, um, boy, it's so much more comfortable now. Now, I did change the profile quite a bit, um, and I'm probably asking too much uh, for this original cover to fit well again, considering how much I changed the profile, but it's not awful. I mean, there's a couple of slight wrinkles here. Nothing When you sit on it, they go away, but at some point, I may choose to um, take this original cover off and either make my own or buy one or whatever, but um, for the moment it's fine. Uh, but as far as comfort, uh, just a major, major, major difference. So it's just so nice to have it custom fit to your own rear end, um, and the softer foam makes a big difference. So, you know, if you want to try this yourself, I have all the links in uh, the comment section, and it's not that difficult. Uh, you may choose to replace the cover as well, that's up to you, but um, it is something you can do yourself.